fans here, I don't, either they're yelling, they're screaming, they're cheering, or they're shaking their heads. One, there's the Wrangler Chevy. The crew looking around, they're trying to look on the car and see if there were any nudge marks or something. Dale, can you tell me anything about what happened on the last lap? car wants to look at the tape. In other words, Darrell won the race. I led about 600 feet in that race. <laughs> Hey race fans, Alex Weaver here, and in honor of NASCAR's 75th anniversary, let's do a little NASCAR Rewind. Dale Earnhardt, Terry Labonte, Darrell Waltrip is the third man in the equation here this afternoon. Sitting here with William Byron, and we're going to watch a race that neither one of us was alive for. Perfect. We're going to play commentator <laughs> for it. Place your bets, boys and girls. Who do you like? Oh, it's going to be tough to call. I like Earnhardt the way he's been running here of late, uh, but on the short tracks, Labonte has experience. Waltrip, Lord knows, knows his way around this racetrack. What I just love about this is the nostalgic. So uh, cool. Martinsville, I mean, the multiple lanes. Martinsville looks so much wider. I was thinking the same thing. It looks massive compared massive. to. Oh, that was a big block right there. I mean, how strategic right here was Dale. He drove in the corner like three car lengths shallow and low to make sure that they couldn't run into the back of him and knock him out of the way. They ride high and Terry just nudges the wall. Now they go down the back straightaway. There's nobody sitting here at Martinsville. Oh, the three cars touch. They get together. Labonte spins. Daryl actually is the one that caused this wreck. Yes. So I yeah. think Terry was trying to be respectful and pass uh, Dale as clean as he could, but. Uh, Waltrip says, uh, let me just assist you with this. Fair or foul, though, bump and runs at Martinsville? I think it's fair. I mean, if you're that close to the guy coming to the white flag, you, you kind of know what to expect. They run Terry in the wall going down the back. Terry tried to get back under him. He got a little sideways, and I bumped him, and that was that. No different, though, when it comes to Martinsville. You, you drivers just kind of expect the bump and run at this point. Yeah, I mean, if, if you can get to that guy, I mean, winning means everything in our sport. From what we saw up there, uh, as far as the 17 is concerned, he looked like he was in pretty good shape. It's Martinsville. That's about right. Terry, you got any comment at all? No comment. I don't mind being lucky. I like being good, but it doesn't hurt being lucky. <laughs> 